Yeah, Lorenzo, so far the U.S. Attorney's Office in D.C. has announced charges against 17 people in federal court and dozens more are facing charges in the Superior Court as arrests have been made from Hawaii to West Virginia. As we watched mayhem unfold outside the Capitol, newly emerging photos and video show us how truly chaotic it was on the inside. And on Saturday, some of the rioters caught on camera basking in their accomplishments are now sitting behind bars facing federal charges, including Jacob Chansley, also known as Jake Angeli or the QAnon shaman. He's the Arizona man seen in viral mob photos with a painted face and wearing a costume that included a horned hat and spear. He is charged with counts that include violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. Also facing new charges, Adam Johnson of Florida, who can be seen here smiling and waving as he carries Speaker Nancy Pelosi's lectern through the rotunda. He's now charged with theft, violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. The Department of Justice says he is currently in custody. And this man, seen putting his boots up on Speaker Nancy Pelosi's desk, was arrested by the FBI Friday in Arkansas. In regard to this case, the acting U.S. attorney for D.C. says, quote, This case is just one in a number that demonstrate the brazen acts that were committed at the Capitol on Wednesday. My office is committed to prosecuting all individuals who participated in these abhorrent acts to the fullest extent of the law. And closer to home, West Virginia state lawmaker Derek Evans, who live streamed himself rushing into the Capitol while even saying his own name, was arrested Friday by the FBI for entering restricted property and is now out on bond. Delegate Evans has been charged federally by entering that restricted area. As for his elected position, following calls from both sides of the aisle for him to step down, he submitted a letter of resignation Saturday. This wasn't a riot. It was an attack. This wasn't spontaneous. It was coordinated. And we need to now reckon with the consequences. The string of arrests come as the U.S. Attorney's Office announced it would be investigating the deaths at the Capitol. That includes Ashley Babin, the 35-year-old Air Force veteran and Trump supporter who was shot to death by a Capitol Police officer during the riot. The U.S. Attorney's Office is also investigating the death of Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who died Thursday after injuries sustained in the riot. In total, the attack led to the deaths of five people, and consequences are still being paid. The message tonight from the FBI is they will find those people responsible for storming inside the United States Capitol and they will hold them accountable no matter where they live. Live at the Capitol, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9. All right, Colby.